Hi, I'm John Biden with Shutter Priority Imaging Center. Um, basically, what we're going to talk about right now is we're going to talk about aperture. The first thing about aperture is it's the way we control light to the film or CCD imaging sensor. Uh, and it's the volume of light, how much light it is. What this is, is this is a lens right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the, how the aperture controls through the lens. Basically, there's a diaphragm in this lens that will close down the camera will close it down during the exposure, just like so. And it will control the volume, how much light we're regulating to the film or in image sensor. What we're going to do here is there's a couple different ways how to set aperture on cameras. What I'm going to use is a Pentex film camera. And this camera actually has an aperture ring, just like what we showed right here. And what you can do is you, you rotate this to the proper aperture ring or the volume of light you want striking your film or imaging sensor. The other way to do, the other way to set aperture on a camera like that, uh, on this, would be to set this into automatic and then use this rear thumb wheel here and you can control it electronically. When you do control it electronically, you'll see it on a top display and also typically you'll find it in the viewfinder on most cameras. The reason why you use aperture to, for amount of light coming in the camera is to control your exposure. And by uh, most cameras have a built-in light meter that will tell you when you have a proper exposure. The brighter the light, typically the, uh, the higher the f-stop number will be. The lower the light, the lower the f-stop number will be.